So, as a Kerala Neta, an Indian MLA, KT Jalil, who refers to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as shockingly Azad Kashmir, which it is not. This, remember, also while there are massive protests that have broken out against Pakistan government for their brutality and atrocities. Meanwhile, from Srinagar to Pulwama to Bandipura here, there are tricolors, the national flag everywhere. This is the visual of real transformation. Kashmiris hoisting the national flag, no mob violence. Children enjoying a relative peace this time in the region that has been marred by cross-border terrorism for at least 30 years. This is real freedom that is being brought by strong political will and Kashmiris themselves who are fed up of Pakistan interference. And this real freedom does not need pushed adjectives that Pakistan is trying to use. But the question is, should an Indian MLA be singing Pakistan tune and why? when we can see what is happening in Pulwama, Srinagar and Bandipura, where perhaps the MLA can go and visit and see the transformation himself. Let's go across now to Kerala. Shibimol KG is uh, joining me on this live telecast. Uh, Shibimol, this is actually a very shocking comment to make for a Kerala MLA. How has politics come across it? Has he reacted to it? Has he said anything about it? Uh, Pooja, no, KT Jalil has not yet spoken about it. In fact, he's not in Kerala right now. We tried contacting him, but he was not answering the call. And uh, uh, even when we contacted the CPIM leaders, they were also saying that we don't want to interfere, in, in, involve in any controversy, land up in any controversy. Looks like the CPIM is also trying to back out, distance themselves from uh, this whole issue. They're asking us directly contact KT Jalil. We are not involved in this. Our party stand is clear. If you need any clarification, you can contact the Delhi office and it's very close to Kashmir. Kerala is very far. This is what LDF convener E.P. Jairajan uh, uh, told us. So, KT Jalil is, is known to be in news, is known to be a okay. part of controversy, especially in the last few years. He was, uh, he was alleged uh, as in he was alleged to be involved in gold scam. When the gold scam issue came up, he had to resign from the cabinet. Remember, he was a minister in the previous LDF cabinet and he had to resign following allegations that he was involved in illegal importing of uh, religious texts to UAE consulate and he had to resign. So, he has been in controversy. In fact, he was also, he started his political career as a member of SIMI, which is a uh, terrorist, uh, uh, which, is, which is an organization term terrorist and which was later group, banned. Yes. So after that he moved to uh, Muslim League and then he landed up, yes, and then, then he later landed up with the uh, CPIM. So Jalil has a history of this, but he has been in controversies before also. Hmm. But we need to get a clarification from his end because nobody is opening up. He is the person who should say, because in the post if you see, it's a very long paragraph, very okay. long uh, description of his Kashmir visit, where he says that uh, when he speaks about the Kashmir history, he says, the, uh, the, the fact is, should be more that for him to visit Kashmir, visit it in peace, smiling visuals of KT Jalil actually shows how peaceful Kashmir is right now and yet he uses the terms that Pakistan would like him to use. It's absolutely shocking. But thank you so much for bringing it in perspective about why he's been making this comment. Remains to be seen if this will become a political showdown in the state of Kerala.